Hello and welcome to another episode of the free to play. This one we're going to do the ballistic portion of the hot drop event. And to do that, we're going to take out a Jager mech. This one is set up with five AC2s and, and just enough ammo, hopefully. Uh, I, I could put this thing to Ferrofarbrous and get another half ton of ammo if I wished, or even shave some armor off of this and get another full ton. But as it stands, I don't want to spend that 325000 on it, as most of my other builds for this uh, just use the light ferrofibrous instead, or ferrofibrous, however you want to pronounce it. So we're just going to do it with this. It's not optimal, because I could have, let's say, a 255XL, but whatever. It functions. Five AC2s, some ammo, AC um, XL250, and hopefully in the skills, do I have this magazine capacities? Yes, I do. So both magazine capacity skills. And we actually have 17,000 points here for uh, for XP. Let's uh, let's get some points. All right. We do have mobility. This is probably one of the mechs that I made a skill tree for in the past. Because I've tended to shy away from mobility more recently. But beyond that, we can go for... Ah, I'll just go for some durability. Why not get some points there as we'll try to improve what meager durability the Jager mech has currently and we'll get those points. But yeah, so it's going to be a mid to long range fire support type build looking to DPS somebody else that is already distracted by an ally. Let's go and see how the Jager mech will do on the battlefield. And for our first match, we've got Frozen City, the new version, not the classic version. We've got Assault, which means that we can uh, do our little punch shots over the gap here. We have a total of 700 and something bullets. I already fired a couple to make sure my uh, left and right mouse buttons were set up properly. And this, this is a light, light lance here. Wow, we only got like one Assault? This is interesting. Tell me that I help make this fucking Hmm. There's that guy there. I don't want to waste my ammo on those kind of shots. I like those shots where I know I'm gonna hit. Mm -hmm. But this trading over this kind of gap is my kind of play style here. Oh, ooh. Ooh. there's a spider moving up into Fox 7. Oh, he's moving back towards Fox 6. Oh, so you got an ECM coming up that way. Mech there. Like you, Lots of trading going on. Let's just back off a little bit from that piece of cover. Get a little bit deeper into the city here. And we'll just move off to the right side. Oop. Raven uh, 3L up in our midst. Careful, he's got a narc. Chase this guy down. Probably don't want to spend too many people chasing him down. Although there's no real um, push from the enemies here. There's still a fair amount of enemies over at their base. Get a nice hit in there. And then just back into cover. New target acquired. Come on, we just need our flankers to go get these guys. There's like one guy over here, dudes. So like, finish him off. They've got all the rest of their lights over on the left side. Base is being captured, really. This will be interesting. It's the, there's a flea on base. 
There's that, there's that, uh, raven right here. Enemy is pushing across the center. They're going across Fox 6 into Fox 7. Let's light him up. Guys on the left flank, how are they doing? Evan Jaguar has got some incoming missiles. That guy's got low sensors, so the Raven's near him. And I've got a... Is that an enemy mech? Yes, that is an enemy mech. Pound that a little bit in the distance there. We are all spread to high hell here. This has been a very interesting match so far. Our left flank is just collapsing, so we got to get over there. They still have a fair amount of mechs far on the other side. We should just push hard one's flank and then take it out. Got an enemy behind me. Yep, it's the flea. We continue flowing forward. Oh my god. Freaking fleas. I hate lights. They are annoying. Okay, he's backed off from my position. I need to get my DPS on somebody. There we go. Get some downrange DPS. Get him around back in front of me. Now I'm hitting him a bit. Uh, but we're lost four people. Like, there's no way we're gonna survive this. This flea is just keeping me occupied here. And I'm narked now by this guy. Wonder. Uh, these these lights are just playing with me, really. I can't not fight them because then they'll just eat me. But I can't focus on them. Like I can't because I we're just losing it because we don't have the 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 my firepower and such on the front. Ah, finally that guy's down. Summoner is going to come around the corner. We'll just light him up. I mean, it's most likely lost, but it's not completely lost. It is theoretically possible to win this. We just need to take a few guys out pretty quick here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Helping taking out that guy's side torso. I'd like to hit that a few more times here, but it's not going to be a possible. He's got a UAV above, so he knows exactly what my positions are. But we'll just do as much damage as we can. It is, it's a weird first match for this, that's for sure. That was a really weird and bad first match. As uh, we just had people all over the place. No one really coordinated and did anything. But, we can't win every match. Good game to our opponents. Thank you for being opponents. Those lights though, man. I. In this situation, if I just ignored them, I would just die. But if I, if I didn't ignore them, like the team, like if I paid attention to them and fought back, the enemy team could just move across without me being able to do any fire support. So, eh, bad situation. But let us try again in the next match. And for our next match, we've got River City Domination, with the domination point being there in the water. What good points are there for us to take for cover? Do we just have to be really aggressive and get all the way across or something? I don't know, but I feel like I can take some sniper spots up here from Fox 7. There's that guy who's moving very, very, very aggressively into our zone here. I want to be able to shoot at him, although I'm not sure where I can 
get a nice spot here. See if we can tuck in and get some angles. There's that guy. Throw some shots his way. New target. That mad cat. Uh, that's a champion with a single rotary five. Not really that frightening. If it's just the single one. But, ooh. Yeah, there's enemies that way. Put some damage downrange to them. here and get around this corner. Don't want to take too much. And get over here to the left side, I guess. Not sure where these enemies are going. Looks like a lot of our allies are actually pushing across the water here into the right side. And I think that's kind of where I should be going to. I should stay with the group. Maybe get to this position here. Ooh, ooh, I got enough couple shots from here. A couple angles I can take. Mad cat. I just need somebody out in the open. Stand out in the open. Let me shoot you for a while. <laughs> That's what I need. Oh, jeez. There's enemies right behind us. I just noticed. Uh, oh, I'm dead. Okay, I need evac, 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 evac. Out of here, out of here. Diving off the edge. That Arctic Wolf is not what I want to be fighting. We're running for over here. That Arctic Wolf should be diving off that edge anytime now, trying to go get the back of our assault there. You can assume that Piranha is not going to be an issue. Yes, his leg is off. I'm going to do a 180 here. I'm going to tuck up back here. Where, where the hell is this fire is coming from? Somebody over here, I guess. It is that champion with his Rotary 5. Come here, champion. Out in the open. Come here, baby. I want you. You are mine. Yeah. Although I'm missing all my shots. It's because I'm bad at aiming. But I will win this one-on-one. -on -one. Come on, champion, let's go. Let's DPS each other down. Your Rotary 5 is jammed, his CT is crit. Let's pound his CT and help take him out. I'm not sure if this... I'm not sure if it's just me being bad at this particular build, or if this build has some issues with it. But I'm, I'm just not feeling the performance here out of this mech. And also, out of my computer, it's only sitting at 30 frames per second right now, which is very annoying. Give him a 60 FPS. Target acquired. I've got above recommended specs. Yeah, at least I got a kill, though. Neck there, let's push into him. I feel like I've had definitely more success with this kind of uh, this kind of mech with more derpy style uh, designs like dual twenties sort of thing. As the mass AZ twos require too much face time, like too much me pointing myself at the enemy in order to get all my damage down. So, that be something I'll have to think about in the future, but at least we've won the match and all we, always, all we have to do is just touch the center and uh, it is a victory. So good game to our opponents, we managed to win and we got a kill. Well, let's try this mech one last time and no matter what, we'll get the 500 damage done as we did 442 in this match, one kill, eight assists and got a kill most damage dealt. So, we're doing okay compared to the rest of the team, right in the middle. So, we're doing okay. I just, I'm just feeling like this thing isn't performing how I want it to. It's not doing it. We'll do one last match. And for our final match, we've got Conquest on the Old Frozen City Night. We are going to... 
Shall we try to push through Sarah Charlie 4? Maybe. I'm just going to take a little peek in this gap here on top of this building. We can get a little bit of height. And we can possibly see an enemy from this position. Maybe. Nope. Nobody. Alright, let's continue forward. We, I don't want to go directly into the down city, as we're not really a um, brawler type. We're going to go up from the bottom of the dropship and see what we can see. There's somebody. Oh, I always like it when I shoot a flea. It makes me happy. All fleas should die. And assault moving back through there. There's a lot of lerms moving through there. I don't want to be anywhere near that. There are light down there. Got destroyed. Let's continue with this right flank. That enforcer is a sacrificial lamb, it seems. Those shots are going right to left, so they're allied. So let's pull, pull in here and help out with the DACA. Yeah, it looks like the enemy has moved across. That was an accidental thank you, but whatever. It works. We have basically swapped sides already. And let's just jump on this guy in the back. He's my build minus an AC to you. Mm -hmm. I, know how that's, I know how this feels, dude. Oh my god, I know how that feels. We'll just come right up the bullet here. LRM Supernova, you can just push it in. Get within 180 of it, and it's practically useless. It's it's a free real estate. It's dead. Alright. And now we've got a really good position here for just putting down support of fire as the enemy is now in the position that we were in just a moment ago. Oh, this Blood Asp doesn't like life. Blood Asp, Foxtrot, right torso crit. Hopefully that gets taken off relatively quickly here. Trebuchet can suck my Daka. And is the nature of this game we will continue to rotate around the dropship until one victory one team earns complete victory we're just going to flip this around and walk backwards so that we can we can dock a backwards here as we're probably getting caught by the rotations however we're not going to go down without a fight we're going to hold up their rotation as long as we can and then actually maybe escape out of there. How did we even do that? I don't think it was physically possible. I am a magic monkey, that's what I am. I managed to survive that. Oh, oh never mind. There, there, I'm dead. Ah, taken out by Bear Claw. Well, if I had to be taken out by someone, taken out by someone that is really good at this game. You'd be like, ah, oh, that's the only one that could take me out. Blah, blah, blah. But I'm just joking. It is 9 to 5. It is a pretty good chance we are going to win, as there is just a few enemies left. However, we've got some good people on that team, like Bearclaw, so you need to, yeah, just like it is here, gang up on him and take him down. Pound his Uzeal into the ground with his legs. Uh, and he's gone. 10 to 6, there's two more. It is simply a piranha. Those horrible, horrible things. And a uh, ECM light of some kind. Was that the, the flea? Oh, the piranha gets stuck up against the building, and that's where he loses like all of his leg health, and then he's just gone. Yeah, it's the flea. The only thing remaining is a flea, and I want it to die horribly. Kill the flea. Let it suffer. But here's me. Just waiting for the flea to 
die. But it's pretty much impossible for him to win at this moment, as we've got the cap lead, and uh, we've got a half team of mechs chasing after him. But, ooh, he's coming out into the open, and he's getting ripped to shreds. But good game to our opponents. Managed to do it. Gotta get that potato rotato going down around the dropship. That is the old meta on this map. And we managed to get a victory with zero kills, nine assists, a kill most damage dealt, and 587 damage done. But that is going to be it for the Jaeger mech and ballistics. Next up, missiles. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.